Good morning, everybody. Chris C. the Slasher Dude back with another video. Uh, Chris C. the Slasher Dude, aka at uh, Chris Carson, all one word, Chris Carson 247, or uh, 1979, excuse me. Um, so, anyway, a uh, happy uh, Multi Friday uh, today, talking about House by the Cemetery. Particular cover here. Take this thing off. We got House by the Cemetery. Uh, directed by the great Lucio Fulci, late great Lucio Fulci, House by the Cemetery. Came out in 1984, 19, uh, 1981. Came out in the U.S. in uh, 1984. Um, directed by Lucio Fulci. Writer is Elisa Bragunti, I believe. Uh, Dardano Sagetti and Giorgio Marazuo. Um, stars uh, Katrina McCall, of course, from the Gates of Hell trilogy. So, yeah, she's been in all of these. Underrated, kind of Green Queen. She's kind of robotic, though, scenes and everything that she does. I'll get to that in a second. Um, Paolo uh, Malco and Giovanna, uh, Giovanni Di Nava. And, uh, you know, of course, Lucio Fulci makes an appearance as a professor in this. Um, interesting thing about this, um, the library that's in here. There's a scene in the library where um, the character of... Um, Dr. Norman Boyle, played by Apollo Malco, goes to. It's the same uh, library set as uh, The Beyond. Um, so this is a slasher. Um, a slasher in in this house right here. Um, because uh, Giovanni, uh, Giovanni De Nava plays Dr. Frostein. So it's a uh, almost like a haunted house. It kind of starts out with... Uh, some bad stuff happened in this house. You find out that the colleague of the, um, the doctor, you know, it's part of this couple that moves into this house, um, committed suicide, kills his wife, commits suicide. Then you find some tapes about it, then you figure out what really happened. Uh, there's something shady going on in the basement. Um, it's, this is very gothic. It's very good. Um, the movie's kind of all over the place, though. Has the most annoying child I've ever seen in a film. The dubbing for him is pretty damn bad. Pretty annoying. Um, like I say, this this film is a batshit crazy. It's definitely a WTF type of a title. I can see my boy Brad, aka the 4K10 Revival, doing this on his channel for a WTF stream. He, he, I talked to him about it. He, he says it's on the list. If I'm available, I'd love to be on that. Anyway, um, very good film. Um, it, it's a great slasher. Of course it is. It's just kind of all over the place. Um, do I like it better than to be on? No. Um, Beyond is still number one for me. House by the Cemetery is very good. Um, I get high anxiety, so, you know, it, it definitely hit the right uh, sweet spots for this and stuff like that. Uh, there's an interesting phrase at the end of the film that somebody says, like, children can be evil and then good at the same time. Something like that, unneeded in this film and stuff like that. I haven't looked into the special features of this, of this film a lot, but uh, first time watch for me. Like I say, I love House by the Cemetery. It's just kind of all over the place for me. Um, I think I gave it a um, 4 out of 5 with a heart on Letterbox and kind of stated my thoughts on that. Like I say, Slasher Dude, hence, this is a great, uh, this is a great slasher. And um, so, yeah, this gets a good, uh, this gets a good solid uh, 8 out of 10 for me. And uh, it was also filmed in, uh, in Massachusetts. So, um, yeah, so that's, um, that's House by the Cemetery. I almost said the house by the cemetery, <laughs> so you know. So good release by Blue Underground. Um, I like the lenticular covers that they do, so I was lucky to get this one. I did. I've had this one for a while, so pretty cool. Anyway, that's all for today. If you could slash the like, sleeping bag, kill the subscribe, and I'll talk to you all later. You're awesome people, take care. Bye.